Hello everybody! In this video I want to talk with you about why it's so bad to be emotional to your eBay dropshipping products. Why you should remove bad selling products immediately and not wait years or a lot of months until you do this. So, this is a mistake which I see that many different dropshippers are doing. It doesn't matter if it's a beginners or very experienced dropshippers, people are spending time on finding these uh, hot selling products and uploading them to their stores. Part of the people also also doing like uh, uh, titles optimization, description optimizations and uh, item specific optimizations. And people don't want to remove these products after they spent a lot of effort and time on these products, even if the products didn't sell for them. So why this is so bad? This is something which I try to explain in many of our webinars and to many different people in some posts. When you have products in your store that didn't sell for a long time for you, they will not sell. I would recommend you to wait with the product for two, three months maximum and then remove these products from your store. Why? Because it decreases your, uh, your sell through on your store. It means that you will sell less products because the sell through is going, going less. You will pay more fees to eBay because you keep these products on your store, even that it's irrelevant. Maybe this product was fine and maybe this product was trendy or a, a good niche in the past because of a trend because of a season maybe it was only for winter and now it's too late to sell these products so don't be emotional to your products it's very important if you see a product which didn't sell for you for a period of time remove these products immediately now important note here if you have a product with selling history it doesn't matter for how long it didn't sell don't remove this product you can watch our other videos about what to do with these products but actually you should replace it to other products which will sell so you still replace the product you don't remove the product but the fact is that even if you spend a lot of time on this product it should not uh, keep and it should not stay the same on your store forever so if something stops selling just uh, switch it or if it never sold just remove this product i hope that you like this video for any questions don't afraid and don't forget to ask under this video and I promise you that I will answer any of your questions personally. I'm going over our YouTube channel, over our Facebook groups and in our Instagram page just to answer all of these questions. See you on the next videos. Bye bye.